Hi, my name's Steve Faulkner. Welcome to Real Magic Review, and today I will be reviewing John Bannon's OMG Super Morigami. After this review, I'd like you to go and have a look at OnlineMagic.co. That's my online magic course. Many of you will know about it because I go on about it every time because it's important because without that, there is no this. And if you like that, you'll love this. If you love this, yeah, you get what I mean. Really good. Loads of um, uh, live guests, live sessions every week from me. We've got Steve Reynolds coming up this week. We had David Williamson last week and over 600 videos for you to watch at your pleasure and mostly downloadable except for live sessions. Very proud of it, it's very good, go and have a look at it. Thanks very much. Um, so Big Blind Media, they've got very good, they've kind of, they're good at producing tricks that aren't knuckle busting, that are good fun and I know they do a lot of work with John Bannon and I'm a big John Bannon fan, I love his stuff and I'm getting more and more the older I get into, I'm, it's, I'm not just saying it's for old people, <laughs> just, but the, uh, in, in the, the more I suppose experienced I get, the more I'm seeing the worth in, in tricks that aren't knuckle busting and aren't difficult and have process in them, I quite like that process and this is one of those tricks. Now, when my course was called Card Magic Course and on not onlinemagic.co, it was just card magic and John Banner very kindly gave me permission to teach his origami um, trick. And I, I thought it's lovely. And it's it, yes, it's a big process. And this idea of folding the cards um, into each other, which come from a Martin Gardner idea. And oh, I'm going to have a look because I forgot the name. Um, uh, Henry Dudney idea, and I, I remember having to, having to look at that name when I actually researched it originally and could never remember then either. Uh, so it's, it's based on this principle that is, is apparently another way of doing a, a sort of Hummer principle. I'm not that good on these kind of self-working principles, but Hummer apparently had a principle where you deal out two piles. This does the same thing, but in a kind of, I suppose, prettier but kind of weirder way where you've got this grid of cards and and they the spectator chooses which edge to fold in as until you've got one pack left and that gets you where you want to go so in this case john bannon did this origami and origami revisited forgive me it's origami poker and origami poker revisited uh, the revisited one i think is the more self-working one um, so forgive me, it's not just origami, so if you Google it, you'll be more likely to find it if you actually put in the proper title of the thing. So uh, there you go, as you were, which is pretty much self-working, especially the second one, I think, uh, and the one we put on the course, but realised that if you wrote on the back of the cards, it gave this kind of added effect. And the question is, I suppose, is the, is the effect a good one? And then you've got another added effect at the end where you, when you've got the... the um, Royal Flush. I'm not going to over explain it because I'll show you the video actually of me uh, demonstrating it. Again, loathe to say performing it because it's the first time I ever did it to anyone here. Ellen, I've got some casino cards. Ooh. I know it's exciting, isn't it? I've put, um, I've put marks on them. I've lettered them. No reason really. I just have literally no life and I get very lonely. Um, I was just thought, why not? <laughs> but I'm going to do it. Actually, there is a reason for this. I'm going to do a, a test of luck. See, you just see me shuffle them, um, and there's, there's other ways of mixing them. There's another kind of shuffle you can do. Uh, so about half of them face up into the face down the deck. Obviously, that's a very fair way of shuffling. Um, but I'll show you a third way of mixing the cards, which a lot of people don't know about, a kind of randomising way. But first of all, don't let me do everything. You shuffle the cards. Can you shuffle cards? Yeah. Okay, shuffle cards. And just give them, give them a little mix. That's it. Very thorough, very good. Uh, and, and give the cards a cut, because the second way of mixing is obviously cutting. So cut the cards and complete the cut. Yep. Yeah. Right, so you're happy that you've mixed them. Yeah. And this is the third way, this is the randomizer. It's a bit weird, but... Right? Mm -hmm. it's, it's a kind of folding principle. Yeah. So what's going to happen is we're going to fold the edges of the cards in, but yeah. I'm not going to... You're going to choose which edges we fold in until we've got one pile in the middle. Okay. And this sort of, we're going to see how lucky you are, basically. So which, which edge would you like me to fold in? This one. This one? Yeah. Yep. And we can fold any of the other edges in, any of the four edges? That one. That one. And you're choosing this. Uh, any of the other ones? That one. That one? This one, yeah? Mm -hmm. And any others? That one. That one. And which one now? That one. That, that one onto there? Yeah. 
Okay. Right, so basically what we've got now is a lot of face down cards, a lot of face up cards. You've chosen what ones we fold down, you've shuffled them. And this is where, where we kind of, that's as random as you can get really, that's the third way of mixing. Again, not, not a lot of people know about it, so I don't kind of tell anybody if that's all right. Um, we'll see what, <laughs> let's go with it. We'll see what we've got here with the face down cards and we'll see how lucky you are and you'll see that that actually spells out <coughs> lucky. And I don't know what these would have, um, thank you. Well, these were just being selfish. I wanted to see that one from my point of view. So, <laughs> but, but quite right. Um, wow. But it's not just just lucky. You're extra lucky, really, because you see that actually gives us a royal flush a... in spades. Wow. Nice. Thanks. That was very cool. <laughs> Yay, nice. <laughs> Thank you. So that's the, the trick. If you want to see it done better, you can look at the original trailer. Just Google it. You'll be able to find it. Um, it's... It got a better reaction than I thought it was going to get. Not that I thought it was going to get a bad reaction, but uh, I did ask the girls next door, and they're in the other office, and they haven't seen me do loads and loads, what they thought of the trick, genuine feedback. And they said it was, the, the, the words she used, I think, was, that was really surprising. I had no idea that was going to come, especially after all that we were doing, and she meant the folding. And I think there's entertainment, entertainment being maybe the wrong word, but but enjoyment in that folding it's different it's weird it's it, and they also said you know if you were sitting around with friends at a dinner party and you did something like that they'd be like wow and I think that's kind of who this is for I don't think it's for you know if you're going out gigging to close a show with I think it's something to do at, at the end of a dinner party you know w with friends or in, in that kind of, I'm not putting it down, that's not a derogatory thing, I think that's kind of where this fits, and because you've got to lay things out. Um, on that, you, it is a lot easier with a mat, you know, on some tables you can't kind of pick the cards up, I think it's, to do that folding, you're going to want to be on a soft surface, because you want to kind of fold it down, so, you know, I, you know, put the mat down, do the thing, create a little stage, and I think it's, it's a lot of fun. Uh, John Bannon's looking very well, by the way. <laughs> he's, he's one of the only people that I know that actually really seeks a ponytail. It's made him about 10 years younger. Um, but he teaches it very well. Again, it's very easy, this. It's pretty much, it's, it's self-working. It's just remembering it. And there's not much to remember. It's very intuitive. It feels nice dealing them all down. And as they said on the download, you know, do you have to justify this dealing? And, and he said, you just say it's a third way of mixing them up. But he hasn't really found a justification to create this grid. And... I'm not really sure you need one. People know you're doing a card trick. I just talk absolute nonsense, which is quite funny because uh, I, I said, um, to, and it was some of the ideas were from what John Bannon was saying in the thing. But I, I said to Emma, you know, what do you, what do you think of that trick? And she said, I really like it. She said, I'm not, he said, the narrative was a bit all over the place. And I said, there is no narrative. That's me just you know, rambling through it. So I think you, you could create a really nice script for this. Um, I didn't, I just talked at people while going through it. But it's fun, it's nice, um, it's easy, you're gonna have fun doing it and it gives you room to play. Uh, and that's OMG Super Morigami from Big Blind Media and of course John Bannon. Uh, check out the rest of their stuff. I, I think it's really nice, I think it's really sweet, it's, it's really fun, all the stuff. Um, and it's a, good, it's a good, uh, good company to follow, so use the links below. If you like it, that'll be great. Thank you for sending it to me, Big Blind Media, and thank you for watching. Do go and check out on mymagic.co. That's what makes this all happen. Uh, any comments below, and I'll bring them into the live session every Thursday at 5 o'clock UK time. Come along, have a, have a laugh, and, um, and say things to me, and I'll answer them. Take care. See you later. Bye-bye.